Students are set to return to on-site learning and with COVID-19 cases rising and sadly the rumour fold um, this morning tells us that today's figure is very close to 2,000. Thurback Grammar School have become the first school to provide rapid COVID-19 testing at the school gate. Lou Pascuzzi, CEO of TLC Healthcare, they run a range mm-hmm. of uh, aged care facilities. We've spoken to Lou before. Yeah, Lou, good morning to you. Uh, g'day, Ross and Russ. Let me tell you, boys, uh, being near the beach, there's been a few very healthy Siberian hamsters come up and say hello, let me tell you. <laughs> Siberian. <laughs> he set us the challenge last time, Lou, to, fight, to get faulty towers into the interview somehow, so he's got on of it. Um, Straight on. Right hey, no, no, no. We want to talk rapid antigen test, but, but you've got to put a word before Siberian hamster, Lou. Oh. Um, ah. pet, a pet, it was a pedigree Siberian hamster? No. Filigree Siberian hamster. Filig- <laughs> filigree. <laughs> uh, he was meant to say pedigree, it but he said filigree. very well, though, Luke. And, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, f- f- uh, double barrel question. Where do you get them? How do you access rapid antigen tests? And yep. uh, how accurate are they? Uh, well, the rapid antigen tests we use are, are 95% accurate as they've been uh, advertised. However, the Doherty Institute um, ran a sample on them and, uh, and came back with 99% accurate. And let me tell you, Ross and Russ, uh, we've had eight positive rapid antigen test uh, cases at our aged care homes stopped at the gate and they've all come back confirmed by PCR as positive as well. So we've saved eight outbreaks at our homes so far. Oh, well right. done, Luke. So, so um, I know a doctor who simply ordered them online to, to import them from the UK. Where did you get yours? Uh, we uh, contacted uh, Abbott Diagnostics Direct, and uh, there's a number of them that are TGA-approved now, Ross. There's 62. So there's uh, a number of different suppliers, but the reason why we bought the Abbott Pambio version is because th- that's the uh, unit that the government bought for the New South Wales outbreak. So ultimately, if it's good enough for the government, it's good enough for us. Uh, and, Lou, in the UK, I can just go to my local booper and buy a pack of it. Is that right? Yep. Yep, that's exactly right. You can actually go to any chemist in the UK. You can buy a pack of 10 and you can administer them at home, yes. Okay, so 18 months deep into a recession, <clears throat> they're generally not widely available in Australia. Uh, look, they, they, are, they, are widely, uh, they are widely available, uh, but uh, the TGA has put a, um, uh, a blanket coverage on them that they must be administered by APRA-registered uh, individuals only, so doctors, nurses and whatever the case may be. But look, as Greg Hunt has advised, uh, yeah. that, that'll, change, that'll change on the 1st of November. Now, Lou, explain to me, if it can only be administered by a, a, a certified person, where is the word rapid? <laughs> Good point. The word rapid is really the fact that you can get your result in 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the test. Once you've, gone to, a, once you've gone to the person who's allowed to administer correct. it. Correct, correct, and, and that's why basic, well, yeah, you're right, but uh, basically with aged care and with uh, Furbank today, uh, uh, they're bringing the nurses to the, to the students, which is, uh, which is outstanding. So, Lou, are you saying that from the 1st of November, um, yep. the government is going to trust the citizen um, to do their own rapid test and, determine, and, then decide, and then find out whether they are positive or negative and then behave accordingly? Well, that's what's been intimated by the federal government, yes. So basically, uh, we, wa- we await their announcements with bated breath, uh, but ultimately, uh, that's what they've intimated, yes. Mm-hmm. Russell has to go to a conference, I'll keep it broad, mm. next week, and yep. he's been told that he has to have a negative COVID test within... 48 three, hours. 48 hours. Yep. Mm. Yep. Right. After he, gets his t- rap- after he gets his COVID test 48 hours, he ha- before yep. he attends the conference, he has 48 hours in which he can get COVID. Whereas exactly. with a rapid antigen test, if he turns up at the front door of the, co- the conference, they give him the test and he's negative and in he goes. Yeah, that's exactly right. Look, look. Uh, if you want to know on the spot, Ross, this is a fantastic mechanism and, uh, and rapid antigen tests actually uh, provide a positive result, mostly when you're contagious, uh, which is when you want to know uh, mm. that you're negative or positive. Uh, so ultimately, if you're going to provide a duty of care, if you're going to minimise the risk, 
uh, especially in a large gathering uh, like Year 11s, 12s and teachers returning to school. Uh, look, this is really the only way to go if you want that element of certainty on the day. On and, the day. and Lou, in Queensland, uh, maybe maybe Brisbane, is there not a manufacturer right now of rapid antigen testing which is shipping their tests over to the US? Yeah, actually, you're right. You're 100. You've done your research. Uh, there is uh, an Australian manufacturer that, uh, for whatever reason, couldn't get TGA approval here. Uh, so basically, they've got FDA approval. So they're exporting them overseas, which is ludicrous. But uh, ultimately, I'm not uh, going to speak for the TGA. That's uh, that's uh, conducive to their processes. I've, bur- I've buried the lead here, Lou. I had no idea. Are you at Furbank? I'm at, I'm at the front of Furbank right now. We've already administered. Um, uh, 40 rack tests, all negative at this point. We've got 200 to go. And actually, uh, guys, uh, the girls from Furbank want to say hello. Go for it. There you go, mate. Hey. Non-verbal that's, noises. That's, uh, that's 40 of them that are waiting for their results, <laughs> waiting their, for their 15 minutes. And, um, and uh, mate, it's, look, it's, there's a real buzz here. And uh, Furbank are trailblazers in student and teacher welfare, so you'd expect them to be early adopters of this sort of technology. Good on you, Lou. Uh, good on you, Lou. Lovely to chat with you. I've got to think of something to send uh, Lou a, 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 away with. I tell you what, Lou is. Lou's, Lou's a front foot guy, right? Yeah. Like he just gets on with it. He's not waiting for someone to say what you can do. He gets mm. on with it. He's a beauty. Hey, Lou. Yep. Um, I believe. Here we the, go. I believe. Yeah. I believe the manager of your business is a CK Watt, aged forty. <laughs> <laughs> CK what? Age forty. CK, yeah, this is um. This C-K- is um. What? What? <laughs> he mama her. We got to do Lou. It's got to. It's it's got to be one of the best episodes. Surely, it's got to be one of the best episodes. That's Mrs. Richards. I'm pretty sure, isn't it? And that uh, Lou's was. Basil the Rat, I think, was it not? <laughs> Phil Agree, Siberian Hamster. Lou Pascucci, CEO of TLC Healthcare. He's at Furbank administering 15-minute rapid antigen tests. Instant radio solutions time at 4 to 8. Thanks.